the kids to see me in the studio. Yeah, 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 yeah. My goes the Rika. I just want to say, Cardi B, Shorty, I don't even know, I don't even know you. I ain't know you. Somebody told me that you singing my shit. Now I see it's true. I appreciate that. Your voice sounds so sexy. Tired of right. Why you want to talk about yelling old and fifty? No, uh, talent is timeless. Mm -hmm. I ain't you gonna talk, go there, but look, 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 wait, wait, that wait, was a wait, frustrating wait. moment you talking about some, me saying that. You, you know talking I mean? some stuff now. You talking about me some... saying that that was a frustrating mm -hmm. moment though. Yeah. But that from that aspect, you you got plenty. Look. Because people wouldn't know about duh dummy Diddy. Even the people who was next next to you after us. Keep hold hold right there what you talking about. I'm gonna keep you right there, but I'm gonna switch for a bike and we're gonna come back. All right, well, uh yeah, he just was, uh, Dutch was just kind of dissing Lil J. Time he didn't help him because he found out some, some, whatever stuff. I don't know. Uh, uh, you was, uh, matter of fact, back around then, you was, you was kind of locked up with Lil J around that time. Could yeah, you? Yeah, I'm tired of people. Tell me about that, man. I'm tired of people pushing that narrative about Bro Two. I was locked up at that time with a two bump to two. I had some minor. Right. But what? the world a lot of the world don't know about what these people even the ones who coming home and and, and making this narrative seem real and and i ain't even gonna say seem because me and you both know we don't know the truth we wasn't there right but i was there i wasn't in a cell i wasn't in pc but i've been to jail enough to know what goes on in jail so this is what i know as far as Lil J situation me personally go ahead when i got there his name was ringing throughout the entire county jail. I knew what deck he was on and everything in receiving. As I'm getting processed, I knew what deck he was on. Mm. I knew what was going on. His name was busting. So what you had was the warden or the sergeant, whoever run it, put him in force PC. Because everywhere he went, it got sent up. Mm -hmm. It got sent up for the good or for the bad, in a good way or a negative way. So if he went to a deck where it was um, people who was rooting for FBG or the games that was right with FBG, it got sent up in a good way. They making dips, all that on the table. You know, they, they, they on top of the table rapping, you know. And, and, and it's going in a good way, getting sent up. And then when he got to the decks with the majority ops, it got sent up in a bad way. It got fights, so he ended up in said. So everywhere he went, it was a problem. So they just put him in PC, away from population. Right. Where in jail, majority, that's where the f go. This ain't prison, pr f run prison. Because of for the simple fact of you in a lose-lose situation with them there if you get into it with one. Because if you whoop a f he can tell, or let me rephrase that. I know that's a offensive yeah, word. Yeah. Hey, let me, I'm sorry. I'm I'm apologize. Don't don't yeah. what they call what they be doing. Don't cancel me before we'll, I even get We'll bleep that out. But go ahead. <laughs> don't cancel me, <laughs> but look. Homosexuals, you know, run prison because it'd be a lose-lose situation, you know, if you get into it with one. If you whoop one, he can tell the warden of the people you whooped them. Hey, crime. Because he was, <sighs> or because he ain't, because you was trying. To yeah. Okay. And then you got the he's still a man. What if you lose? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if the, what if the whoop you? So they they kind of like run that thing uh, in prison, but not in jail. Yeah. We'll beat your here. Yeah. Right. And the truth, my family here, the family visit. They we right here in the city. Right. You can't paint no narrative in the country and they hear it from a letter and go go for it. Like you hoop and lose your teeth and you and you tell your family you lost your teeth playing ball. Who go believe that? Right. In prison, man. Somebody knock this teeth out. You see what I'm saying? So I feel like that's what's happening with Lil J. People don't know about the forensics. So what went on with Lil J was. They what about the chain up? He was chained with. Tell me about that. Everybody get chained up. Go ahead. Listen. If you in the if you in them little divisions where ain't no gladiating going on, you go be in there like you on college campus. You house you're in, you cool, you getting damn that world food from the COs. But if you in gladiator school, you getting your chained up everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. Every time I went to the county, 
and them, it was max division, division nine, division eleven. I had to get chain leaving that deck from my waist to my ankles to my wrist. Right. But on court days, or on days we got to travel like to a hospital or stuff like this, doctors or a barber shop, you get chained to people. And so I can't control. You got some COs who go for, don't chain me to this or you got some COs, or what you go do? So if, if I gotta go to court, and this gotta go to court, and you chain me to him, and I see an op that see me chained to the mm -hmm. and he run his look dangling to the world and paint this narrative, what can I do? Yeah. You in jail. I'm, 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 they make it seem like he got sentenced 45 years and I don't see the light, and now I'm a Bro, I am in the county jail. You know how many weird fans Lil' Jay got? You know how many times I got my ass chased out of public place because of him? So I feel like, you know, it was just a lopsided situation for bro. It looked it bad, you know what I mean? But I bumped into him personally and they were going to court. But what's going on? I told him, past looking. He, like, he was looking promising. So I asked him, Joe, let me start dropping my music on your page. They blackballed me. Niggas weren't recording me like after the Cardi B shit and all that shit. Mm -hmm. And I got on, me and Billy kind of fell at odds a little bit over the song. Um, damn, I have one of my weed things where I forget what I'm, <laughs> I'm supposed to watch weed. Sometimes I forget yeah. what I'm finna say where I'm going. But um, after the Cardi B uh, thing. After the Cardi B situation, I was getting blackballed. You know what I'm saying? Didn't let's, nobody. Let's talk about that Cardi B thing. Then go on to the black ball because they they don't. Okay. Well, you made a song. I called made a song. Costa Rica. Me and Billy got a song called Costa Rica. Okay. And uh, before we even dropped it, the inner circle, the cameraman, everybody was just going crazy over who want to be the one to drop it. Where you see the platform and all this going on. And when it finally dropped, I said that to say I really didn't have no taking nothing outside of just writing the song, creating the song. We bought the players for him right now. So we're going to come back to this. We're going to put it on right now. And we'll be right back. I'm fresh from Costa Rica. I'm in my connect in Costa Rica. We just checked it out. So uh, now, now go ahead. Now they can understand it a little bit more. Yeah, so the song, you know what I mean? I've been sitting on the song for a long time. And Billy had a mixtape coming, coming out. He was saying, who I need a feature, you know, who I ain't got. You know, Billy did a lot of, I give him that, he did a lot of putting people on to his platform. Yeah. You know, but it had to be worth putting you on. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, with me, you know, I'm I, I'm the hit man. I sit on hits, I stand on that, I can prove it or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so he called me out, I delivered, and you know, controversy started because when we made the song, in my mind, Killer Cannon Boys was gonna shoot it. Yeah. And um, Billy didn't want him to shoot it. He wanted that slightly slightly bigger platform to shoot it. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. everybody used to us right here. He wanted to spread us around. You right. know what I mean? Now, I don't know if they was at odds personally and he didn't want Killer to shoot it. I, I don't know how that went. The whole conversation and the whole event went on without me, including the plan of the video, how it went. Every single thing went on without me. My thing was, let's just get it done. Mm -hmm. Y'all feel like this the one, let's go. You see what I'm saying, let's do it. And what happened was, when the song dropped, it literally went viral. Okay. They called it, I didn't see it. And so, one day, uh, I go on my uh, Instagram, I see all the notifications, People blowing me up, man, you finna make it, man. It's over with, man. Cardi B singing your song. And I go to the, we'll see what they talking about. I see her singing a song, but I don't get the significance of it. I don't know. I don't watch TV. Mm -hmm. I don't know who Cardi B is. I don't, I don't watch time. Love and Biscuit. Yeah. No bloody shoes ain't out. Nothing is yeah. out. She just known for bitch, Love and hip hop or whatever. And so I just said, this is just a nice, thick, female who I hit from the back, right. <laughs> singing a song, moving right along. I didn't take nothing to it. Somebody right. had to break this down to me. Time passed, the song's still going viral, and now she's singing it more frequently. You know what I mean? 
And then it reached to a point where, so now she comes to Chicago. I'm gonna mm-hmm. talk about this situation. She comes to Chicago. And this probably what make it seem like, for my little brother, Billy, man, if it, it feel like he feel like I got a problem with him, you know, we at odds, even right now it's sour. Like I got a problem with him over the song because I spoke out about the song, like I was tripping over the song. It was just the principle. When she got out here, from what I'm hearing, she specifically asked for me, like, where's Uno? In the gate, like, okay. where's Uno at? Okay. And um, so they was blowing me up. Um, one tray, even, I think King Yelly, even, I think, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. tried to hit me up. Yeah. And uh, uh, because from my understanding, she was dealing with King Yelly Cousins. Exclusive, that's who she was saying, I guess, waiting on come home from jail. And that's what I'm getting from. I'm being told all this. Don't quote me, you know. Is that Apple son? No, that's King Yellow Home. Oh, I thought that's it was his cousin. You know, that's his home. He was locked yeah. up half of that went. Okay. And that said, don't quote me. Yeah, but go ahead. I had him a couple thousand to uh, do a song with Alpo in it. Alpo's son, uh, Papa Ross Poe. Somebody else. Okay. That's how that went. Oh, okay. that's how that went. Oh no, it got to me like that. Being his cousin, whatever, however that went. And okay. um so when she came to the club, I knocked out. I missed all the missed calls. And when I woke up, they like, damn, bro, you miss she gone now, man. She asking for you this, this. They look at the post and I see the post. And this, yeah, I'm in Costa Rica, she singing, I'm in your city. Yeah, where you at? Right. And I see Billy. Yeah, I'm right here. You go Costa Rica right here. Yeah, I miss Costa Rica. And I ain't gonna lie to you, that blew me. Oh, Billy was saying he was Costa Rica? Yeah, and you see him on the post, like, yeah, he right here. You know, uh, and I ain't, and it ain't blew me because I ain't take it as, uh, Kim, you know, I miss Costa Rica. I ain't take it as that. I took it as, I've been here on the sideline with heat behind the scenes for a long time, you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, y'all got y'all way, bro. You missed the 10K. Mm-hmm. This ain't your sound. You know, I've been saying, it, it was that hard for you to just give me that. And that's my whole thing with all these rappers like Dex. It's just so hard for you Look. to just put them off on. Ain't nobody said nothing about no money. Man, bro wrote it. Man, bro, this, bro this, you couldn't just ain't no give re- me that. Ain't no real eagles, a and lot of eagles. Dealing, and you're dealing with a real celebrity. So that's what it was. So I see her on the live, right? And so I'm, I'm sending a message. I see you like the song. This me. I see her reading this shit. There's my shit this big on this lap. You see her pausing. What she's saying. You see her little eyes. I'm telling her, man, if you're looking for that sound, it's still out here in Chicago. We still can work. We can make back to Costa Rica. We can go crazy. And like a day or two later, she sent for billionaire. They did what they did. And when he come in the studio with her, she singing Costa Rica. Right, and that just like did it for me right there because already I skipped how the cameraman and how everybody played the song to make it seem like it was his song and I was the feature anyway. Yeah, you know it played back on me how he incorporated the hook. He got the first verse. Look at his song being advertised. Ain't nobody go whoever resonated or made that song viral. They ain't gonna ever forget that. Pull on the block with the chopper. Caught that big batch and go block her. Mm-hmm. Crack his head like a lobster. Mm-hmm. Nigga, fuck a pair. You hear that song before Costa Rica come on. You got people all in the comments. What's that song before in the beginning? But this my song. Why it ain't my song playing? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So all this type of things is what I was going through. And I felt like that was my last straw. So for you to send for him out there and then sing Costa Rica and not saying 10K, bye bye, you know, and none of that. You trying to put my sound and my brand behind somebody who viral. That's oh. how I took that. Yeah, it could be that or at the same time. She ain't from Chicago, so they played that politics like that. She don't know. And you know what? what I put my feet in my mouth with that. You know, yeah. that's why I double back and apologize. Yeah. I, I, I admit it, that was an emotional, and you know what happened with me and act off emotion. Yeah. So I just said that was the last straw out for build up a little bitty things. I just felt that was like that. Yeah. Even with the cameraman. Mm-hmm. Man, he, he came in there. And he heard the dog came there, he heard that shit. Oh, shit, you gotta take me to Costa Rica. Mm-hmm. You have to take me to. He was like, man, that ain't. You gotta book that flight with Uno, man. Ooh, ooh. And he looked at me with a look of, who's he? Like, 
and Cap trying to talk to him in secret, man. Like, man, yeah. man, this show, you know. Well, and and look, when that happened with Cardi B, I said, well, I made a, a post, like you out there with him, but that ain't the Costa Rica sound. That shit y'all making, that's mediocre. But I said, I went over the top with it because it's how I feel musically. I yeah. feel like I'm the best. Like, go get Drake and ain't go yeah. get shit. Yeah. So it's a lot of musically. You know, yeah. Don't kill me, don't, I ain't with none of this. Just musically, I don't know nobody who I can't go neck to call Wayne, put us in the same room, give us the same I can deliver. And so that's why I came off like that. I woke up and she told me in the way told Yeah. <laughs> me and all my cousins, man, you a, you a, look how bad she is, use me, sing my song. You right, right. All my cousins play. Everybody said you went about that way wrong. That let us sing the song. Let right. us say it's his all you want. Right. It's still you. Right. That's what I mean by egos. A lot of yeah. egos to take I the put best my of us. In my mouth. So if I Shit. if I can look back on it, I change. I won't. I won't say no. Yeah. Well, Chicago is show goes to show you how much talent out here. I mean, just in y'all little sector, just with the little cheap Keith and Dirk, and then with you. Mm -hmm. uh, Duck, yeah. Yellow, Billy. I ain't counting the West. Came to uh, the West side. Right, they, well, okay. they, they brand is really I'm catchy. Just, but I'm talking about just this little segment here that blew up across the world. Yeah, the West ain't Man, no. We were, we West made, been popping. We made what hip hop is, dude. We made what hip hop is right now. Yeah. The whole what you just named. See, see the West been popping, and, and they was back there with yeah, with Twister and all. Twister all them. Doing that, they got that. they run. Yeah, but they, they, they finally got a taste. They and been. then with that, man, I just feel like they ain't even get the real taste. Nah, but they they nah, back then they shit they twisting them to do it. No, I'm talking about back then they got they got a real taste of Chicago. That's how you do it. They got a, a taste. Yeah. And so now when it's Southside time to get a taste, they didn't get the proper taste. The yeah. That's like like they somebody but, put a little salt in that in that but they started, taste mixture. They started a whole whole new sound, the slab movie. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I, I think it's actually turned out to be a bad thing because of uh, that drill. Uh, you got black men this time, uh, and we finna talk about that. But uh, <laughs> black yeah. black men is killing each other. Time out the ops, and everybody just seeing how bad they can tear each other up on the mic, and yeah. people really start dying behind that. And that's a whole other thing. So that drill music sounds good. Behind a song, don't that sound like what you call it? Uh, spells. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, rituals. <laughs> nah, that's uh, uh, that's above that's above a lot of uh, people. Yeah, we that we go out the baby steps to get to that. Yeah, concept. I just put it out there. But yeah, if I'm gonna say something as far as as far as that, like for me, and just keep it industry and just keep it where they can where they vibrating. Yeah, keep it at the lower chakra. For what I get from it was they had their pace dictated by the industry. Right. That's why they got they didn't get a proper taste. So you got everybody got they run the proper way. New York with the Diddy, the Mace, and all that. Yeah. They went to the A. A got the lean with it, rock with it. He came over the there South. and said, "Yeah, brother, I like that. I'm go pop with it and snap with it and mother with it." And they all branded together. It wasn't no disses. They went over to Houston. Paul Wall them say, "We go chop and screw this thing." Chameleon there said, "We go do this, do that." And when they got to the city, they didn't get, they got through the city through mothers. You see what I'm saying? Chief Keith and all that, they was too young to sign contracts themselves. Yeah. So when they first came to the city, you gotta remember, they first came here through Bum J. Mm -hmm. Bum J had the city on fire. Yeah. From what I remember. And Polaroid. Yeah. Let, me, let me make this clear. Bum J and Polaroid had the city on flames where you want to talk about oh, yeah, 2001, 2002, yeah, yeah, yeah. 2003. No doubt. And they brought the industry out. I know them for for, yeah, for tasting the industry off. All I know is that chips to make cheese and I'm going to go as far as the trap shit takes me. I don't want to take the back off safety and shoot but these fruit ass cats don't make me. Yeah. Mm. They got big contracts on deck and when they got the motherfuckers on deck they let it be known ain't nothing go change. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody around me go die, and 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 it's up there. You can get it too. It's not a bet you dive like your ass sliding in for home plate. I change you right now, nigga. Why I'm going wait? Working with the feds trying to get bump on. And these little rappers y'all got in the industry, they changed took too. Yeah. They say, oh, it's time to pack the suitcase and uh take this agenda. 
somewhere else. Yeah. And then they came back. Yeah. So with the kids, and now what some kids go do with all this pressure of the world? They go go with the flow. So I felt like that's all they had. That's 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 what we looking at. A bunch of kids that went with the flow. A lot of these kids but that no the fans just made gangster don't got no. I can name so many of these rappers with nobody and didn't even so much as slide before. Mm-hmm. But but got the whole. Yeah. You will be surprised how many people there. Yeah, I, I know got two bodies. I don't know him per, but I know he got about three bodies. And you'd be like, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I mean? So yeah. that's what we're living in right now. You know what I'm saying? It, we got to take baby steps to get to talking about the real, though. Yeah. Well, when it comes to Billy, my, you know, I, I, I like the way he moved around. Whatever moves came his way. He went out mm-hmm. there, Arizona, did his one, two. He he, pretty much did too much of that internet stuff. And uh, my thing you know, with Billy, what what I like about I'll Billy see. is his strength to, to still have the will to do it. Yeah. If I take what I know personally, what he went through, what he lost, uh, what he had on the line, and what how did it affect a male? It it caused yeah. you to want to give up. So as far as keeping going and keeping your head through all this shit, I'm giving him that. He could have ran back in the 80s. Man, you could have said, fuck this rap shit all around. My little brother dead behind this shit. Yeah. Fuck all this shit. Y'all really don't give a fuck anyway. Who out here hollering Richie Jerky besides me? Who out here hitting me up, make sure I'm good? Who out here make sure my mama good for real, calling, hitting us up? Nobody. Who calling me up about my brother Duck? It might not look like the shit. I'm having flashbacks of us on the road. Yeah. Still. I'm yeah. have to hold this straight face. I got somebody like Ruga painting this narrative to the people about me. I got to hold out, which is well. Shout out to Ruga. Shout out to Billy. Shout out to uh, shout Yellow. Out to, shout out to uh, Ruga. Uh, all these brothers got up out of here, man. And uh, shout out to Ruga, everybody was gangster enough to say what they said. Like Ruga yeah. said everything about y'all. I felt all that shit Ruga saying is capping bogus. Yeah. But I'm glad they at got the it. time. But it's emotional. Everybody fixed everything. But he's valid for what he's saying at the same time. For me, me and the yeah. person, you get to be an asshole when people was an asshole to you when you was trying to get your rhythm through them. Yeah. And you get to do this, but what you, what you don't, what you feel like you don't do is paint the, get your platform and use it to paint a narrative about people who out of hand and getting you here. You see what I'm saying? Rather, rather I personally handed, that's just like me and Dex. Whether I personally handed you something, if something I did personally affected the way you got here or made it the way you got here. So you was around Ruger too? Yeah, I was around Ruger, the small point. Me and Ruger chopped it up one time for some hours. Remember, if you don't recall me telling you, we didn't like.